Okay, so today on The Woodworks, I am very excited because we're sticking with the theme of side dishes for Thanksgiving, and I'm gonna do mac and cheese. Now, I have my own recipe for mac and cheese, but this is my son and his wife's uh, recipe. So I call it the Damber mac and cheese. So you take Daniel, you take Amber, and you got Damber together. So let me run down the list of ingredients. A pound of pasta, one box. I use cavatappi. A third cup of flour. Three cups milk. One cup heavy cream. Six tablespoons butter four cups shredded cheese. I'm using cheddar and some feta. <laughs> Just use what the kind of cheese that you like. Uh, a half a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, salt and pepper. And for the top, the crumble on top, we're gonna use one and a half cups of panko breadcrumbs, four tablespoons of melted butter, a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, and a quarter teaspoon of paprika. Okay, so that's the ingredients. But first thing I'm gonna do is combine the ingredients just for the toppings. So very simply, I'm gonna add everything together. I'm gonna mix these up first. The butter and the Parmesan, and then I'll add the panko, and there we go. That's it. I should have used a bigger bowl, but who cares? Doesn't really matter. It's just gonna be on top. It's gonna look really nice over the top of it. And there we go. So I have my pasta here. I got the topping here. And now we're gonna take it to the stove, to the Dutch oven, and we're gonna make the cheese sauce. I'm gonna take the six tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna start to melt that in the Dutch oven. And you want this to be like medium heat because we're gonna put the flour in next to make the little roux. That's what you call it, right? A roux. Add the flour. I'm gonna keep whisking this till it's like a golden brown. Okay, gonna start adding the heavy cream. Just gonna whisk that in. Then I'll add the milk. You can see it's already creating the sauce. We don't even got the cheese in. Now I'm gonna add the milk. Get that incorporated and then I'll add the other half. I'm gonna add the Dijon mustard. continue to whisk it but wanted to you know get hot again because we added the milk and then I'm gonna start adding the cheese oh 
Okay. So we got a good consistency here. So I'm gonna start to add the cheese, gonna add half and then whisk it so it's combined and then I'll add the other half. Okay, just gonna add the cheese sauce to the pasta. I might not use all of it. I'm gonna see how this coats all the pasta. This is gonna be amazing. Make sure everything's coated. Now I'm just gonna add the topping. Okay, it's gonna go in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. 20 to 30 minutes. Gonna check on it in like 15. Looks beautiful. Set the timer. Be back in 20 minutes. The Danber mac and cheese is ready. Take it out the oven. Oh wow. It just looks pure perfection. Look at it. Look at it. Gonna plate some up and give it a taste. Be right back. Okay, mac and cheese. Oh boy, mm. hold on. Mm. Yeah! Had to do a lap, had to do a lap like Donnie Wahlberg. It's amazing, I mean, mac and cheese. As long as you do it right, use, um, you know, you make your own cheese sauce, it's fantastic. Mmm, this is my son and his wife's recipe, the Danber mac and cheese. It's addictive. Mmm. It is so good. Make homemade mac and cheese for Thanksgiving. Don't take shortcuts. Don't order some online, or have it catered. <laughs> I know some people that do that. Make it yourself. You saw me do it. It's not that hard. Good Lord, this is good. The topping. Oh. It's so good. I'm not eating no more. Yeah! Mac and cheese!